Kenyan who dazzled Shark Tank investors shares massive success one year later. A year following her Shark Tank success, Margaret Nyamumbo's Kahawa 1893 has made significant strides in the coffee industry, reflecting a blend of strategic growth and social impact. A year later, the US-based entrepreneur has shared how much success the company has achieved. Kahawa 1893 reported $2 million, 254 million, 940,000 in revenue before its Shark Tank episode aired in February 2023. Fast forward one year and the company has now surpassed $7 million, 892 million, 290,000 in lifetime sales. This milestone reflects not just a savvy business acumen but also the rising consumer interest in ethically sourced coffee. Strong partnerships for a sustainable future, Nyamumbo's venture has brewed strong retail partnerships, landing its products on the shelves of prominent stores such as Major, Gelson's, and HEB. These collaborations point towards a growing market for sustainable and socially responsible products. The company has also paired up with Keurig, a household name in the coffee industry, to produce custom K-cup pods. This alliance merges convenience with Kahawa 1893's mission, bringing to the forefront the role of innovative partnerships in expanding a business's reach. Shark Tank Episode Recap Margaret Nyamumbo secure a chance to appear on Shark Tank and pitch her business to the panel of investors who include millionaires and billionaires in an episode that aired in February 2023. Shark Tank is a US TV show where entrepreneurs pitch their business ideas to a panel of investors, also known as sharks. The entrepreneurs have the opportunity to negotiate a deal with one or more of the sharks who may offer to invest in their business in exchange for equity. Nyamumbo appeared on the show seeking $350,000, 44 million, for 5% of her company Kahawa 1893. The coffee company, which sources directly from women farmers in Africa, is hoping to revolutionize the coffee industry by compensating farmers in a new way. Mayamumbo, who grew up on her grandfather's coffee farm in Kenya, is passionate about sharing the delicious coffee produced by Kenyan farmers. She noted that 90% of the labor in coffee comes from women, who are often not compensated because they do not own the land. Mayamumbo disclosed that the firm not only sources coffee directly from women farmers in Africa, but also allows customers to tip the farmers. Kahawa 1893 then matches the tips, allowing customers to directly impact the lives of the farmers who produce their coffee. Sharks reaction and $350,000 offer. The sharks were intrigued by a sample of Nyamumbo's coffee before proceeding to ask questions about the business. Well, that's a good coffee, remarked Robert Herjavec, whose estimated wealth is $200 million, 25 billion. I am a tea girl, but that's a good cup of coffee, added Emma Grade, who is said to be worth $360 million, 45 million. Emma Grade then made an offer to invest the $350,000, $44 million, in Nyamumbo's business for an 8% stake, which was accepted by the Kenyan born entrepreneur. Nyamumbo has a personal connection to the coffee industry. Her grandfather was a driver for the colonial government who managed to start his own coffee farm with some seedlings. After studying abroad in the USA, Nyamumbo returned home with a vision to bring Kenyan coffee to the world in a way that benefits women farmers the most. With her company, Kahala 1893, she is working towards empowering women coffee farmers by sourcing directly from them and allowing customers to tip and provide additional compensation for their hard work. Naimumbo's personal experience and passion for creating change within the coffee industry has driven her to create a unique and innovative business model that aims to create a coffee revolution. Through her work with Kahawa 1893, she hopes to bring attention to the important role that women play in the coffee industry and ensure they receive the compensation and recognition they deserve. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel. Thank you.